Hey crafters, I'm Rachel from The Wood Connection and today I'm going to show you some fun ways to use alphabets around your house and some fun projects that you can make using our alphabets. So alphabets are really fun. You can spell out your kid's name. You could do a monogram with your last name. We have some of these big ones that you can make door hangs with that are themed for holidays. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do. So one of the easiest ways to do is take a monogram. These ones I think are about 16 inches tall. You can buy them online at thewoodconnection.com and you're just gonna paint. Uh, this color that I've done today is called North Sea. It's by Delta Ceram Coat. It's just a really pretty blue. And you're just gonna paint. This wood, you don't even really need to do a lot of sanding ahead of time because it's usually pretty smooth. If you wanna kind of sand your, sand your edges a little bit, you can and just kind of give you a smooth, some smooth edges to work with. But this is something you can do easily in a half hour if you want some time to kill something cute for your mantle, for your front door, is just paint up a cute monogram. We have uh, various different fonts at The Wood Connection where you can add scrapbook paper, add glitter, check back on some of the other tutorials that we've shown this season on how you can Use some of the techniques that we've shown to decorate your wood alphabets. But the possibilities are endless with these. Um, I've done one for the 4th of July where we've kind of made the big monogram into a flag. That one's been really fun to do. You could make it Halloween colored. You could do Christmas, kind of paint it red and add like a Santa belt to the middle. There's lots of ideas on Pinterest you could do. I've done moss on one to kind of give it a mossy spring look. There's so much you can do. I love these for my front door, on my shelf. So many fun things you can do. I mean, look how easy that is. Like it's just been a minute or two and that whole thing is painted and you'll just paint your sides and edges really quick and easy. So just for an easy look, I've got this and how many sandpaper? Oh, there should be some right there. All right here, okay. Okay. So once that's all painted, you can see how easy that was. Just, I've got this one all ready to go. Just to give it a simple look and just keep this project really easy is you're just gonna lightly sand your edges to give it some distressing. Pick your edges, pick different areas to kind of rough up. And if you feel like you've gone a little too crazy, like, ooh, that's more than I wanted to sand off, guess what? You can just paint right over it. But you can see here on this one, I just kind of picked some sp uh, specific areas to focus on. And then I just kind of did all my edges. So that's all I'm gonna do with this one, is just sand the edges. These are really fun gifts. There's so much you can do with these. And then to hang it, all you do is you can get these at the hardware store is they're just little D-ring hooks. You can just screw them in, find some cute twine, make a loop, hang it somewhere. That's a fun idea. You could do eat in your kitchen. You could do wash in your laundry room. I mean, the words you can come up with are so fun to do. So once you've kind of got it sanded the way you want it, I would recommend sealing it with a matte acrylic sealer. It would just kind of finish it off, protect the paint, make your project last a little longer. Then I just got some really fun jute ribbon that I'm just gonna kind of pick a section and I'm just gonna wrap it around. And it doesn't need to be anything special. You could find a cute bow tutorial to do, to add to it. You could, you can kind of do whatever you want. But for this one, I'm just gonna make just a knot. Just tie that on there. There we go, just kind of a cute little embellishment to finish it off. Trim it down, just like that. So you can check out the description for a coupon code and a giveaway that we're doing on our alphabets on our Instagram, at The Wood Connection. You can also find more tips and tricks on thewoodconnectionblog.com.